if you want to make an omelette, you got to break some eggs. I know it's not the best example, but you know what I'm trying to say, right? Like if you mix red with white, you get the color pink. Or in the words of the great Walter White, if you're trying to cook blue sky and you mix it wrong, you don't get crystal, but instead you get a poisonous phosphorus gas. What I'm trying to say is there are exact ingredients to everything. And that most specifically applies in creating the most magical lives for yourselves. And if you don't know who we are, we're living our dream here in Thailand, making videos every day. And all we want to do is have fun together, make you feel happy and share our story with you. So dominate that subscribe button and let's take it to the next level. Sometimes it becomes so difficult to talk at home because Kenzo makes such a massive amount of noise. So let's go check out the pool and let's see. This is the one side of Bangkok. It looks crazy, but at night. So as it turns out, everyone that I met in the lift was actually um, very, very friendly. Uh, and to be honest with you, I was too shy <laughs> to make a video inside the lift, but uh, don't worry, I'll get there. So we've arrived at the pool and check how, this check how amazing this looks. So down below we've got the magical gardens which fills up with children at like 6 o'clock, which we love. Then we've got the magical river, more magical river, the secret zen garden and then the amazing pool. So let's go climb in the corner there so we don't disturb anyone and let's talk about uh, my ingredients to a magical life. Now we've just arrived in the, the secret corner uh, where we'll be able to talk and not bother anyone. Oh by the way, you guys got to go and check uh, yesterday's vlog or maybe it was the day before where I talk about the, the magical diet so go check it out and amazing things are going to happen um, I used to be really fat and now the amazing thing is that I can actually fit into my wife's shorts check this out <laughs> those are not my shorts at all so um, what I want to talk to you guys about today is my five ingredients you know which is smile at strangers um, compliment everyone that you meet be a champion be different be phenomenal so I've always lived my life by these principles and the reason why is because life's not about just like abiding by a set of rules that you you you're born into and uh, you you follow blindly for the rest of your life life is all about exploring and finding out things for yourself and meeting new people and actually life's meant to be a journey and by following these kind of these principles that I've always you know that have just come so naturally to me I've really met the most amazing people and like things that have happened in my life that if I had to tell you about you wouldn't even believe and the reason why is because the more you you, you reach out and connect with people the more you grow as a person and I've seen so many people that you know have been taught otherwise from from young especially here where I stay everyone just walks around with their head down and um, they, they they don't make any effort to meet any new people or add value to anyone's life at all and even where I came from although it's much different where I come from everyone is a lot more friendlier there is still a small you know percentage of the people there that just walk around unhappy and instead of living they're just surviving you know what I'm saying and um, you know why I say smile at everyone is how nice is it when you you know in a lift and someone walks in and just smiles at you you know boy or girl that gives a nice a nice feeling but more than that that opens the door to infinite possibilities like you have no idea where just a single smile could lead you tomorrow so besides from the fact that it really feel, feels good to be super happy and friendly to everyone, it's such a ladder to, you know, m more and, and greater things happening in your life. And number two, compliment everyone. Like, how amazing does it feel if you put a bit of effort into, you know, your, your hair or put a bit of effort into your, your gym, your training, um, or, or even if you're studying something, you know, and you bring that topic, that topic up, that conversation up in a, in a conversation, you bring that topic up in a conversation, and someone just says, wow, you like it's so clever, you like, you know so much about what you're talking about. Or if you, you buy a new bag or a new, a new fragrance, 
and someone's like wow you're really small mouth today that that feels so good like that is all about spreading the love you know and i've just found that because it's such an unusual thing just to compliment people when you do do it it makes such a massive impact and i promise you if you just try that you will be amazed at what happens like every amazing person in my life i promise you has come not because i'm more educated than someone else i'm not even i don't have any school education you know i've got what people like to call hustler's ambition you know street education where i've picked up and learned everything that i know along the way you know through trial and error i've learned okay by applying this that gets you x far and by applying that that really doesn't get you anywhere that's how i've learned along in my life you know and by complimenting people not only does it make the other people feel amazing you know people don't remember um much about other people except for the way those other people make them feel and at the end of the day all we care about the, the reason why we want to go on that holiday or have that perfect girlfriend or, or get that that favorite car is because of the way we think it's going to make us feel right so if you can make people feel phenomenal you're going to be a very important and 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 very big part of their life which in turn is going to come back and 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 assist you and make your life bigger and better number three is be a champion so for me what that means is find out what you love find out what you you're good at and be monumentally good at that not just good but the absolute best so like if if you if you love making chips be the absolute best at making chips you know if you a stay-at-home dad be the most phenomenal go the extra mile like put in not not 90 percent but put in 300 percent like make make whatever you do an obsession that's it be obsessed with whatever you do don't just like oh oh god if, if that's how you feel about something you're doing the wrong thing you know that you don't love us right i used to love snakes when i was super 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 young and i promise you now there there's even even like 20 years later there's no one that knows more about snakes than me okay because i was obsessed with them and uh now i'm obsessed with being happy and i've really like jumped into the studying like how to be happy and i've learned so much and because of that i'm obsessed with you know waking up early and obsessed with looking for reasons to feel good you'll be amazed at the at the nest that i've created i'm so proud of it and you'll be amazed at the processes that have come to me habitually like i go throughout the day saying what's the best thing that could happen to me today you know who's the most interesting person i can meet today what's what is the most fun that we can have today how happy what is what is the happiest i can make lalita and kenza today these are the questions that i'm asking myself throughout the day and if you're asking positive questions the universe is sending sending bad positive answers um be different is is the fourth one i mean that goes without saying you know there's so many people that have that herd mentality especially here in fact there's a saying that says if there's a nail sticking out of the wood you need to hammer that back in what and then what what that means is don't stick out like a sore thumb but again that's that has been taught from young and it's totally wrong you need to be different you know people love people for their for their for you know i love her because of 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 how she makes me feel but i i also love him not because he is the same as her but because he makes me feel different than how she makes me feel right so be different you know follow follow what you believe in you know meditate on it find out what you love and follow that don't do things that everyone else is doing just because they're doing it like okay go to university when you finish school wow well everyone's doing it you know my dad made me do it so i did it now you got to do it what about if you like say no my heart isn't like that you know my, my heart isn't saying to me stay in university my heart is saying to me get up buy a ticket and go to australia and i promise you if that is your mentality and if that is uh your your style to follow your heart i promise you much much more doors are going to open for you and you're going to have a much happier and fulfilling life than if you follow the dreams of other people and finally be phenomenal well i guess that's kind of the same as being a champion right but being phenomenal just means making an extraordinary life you know waking up early because you're excited for life going to bed late, late because you just can't get enough of the day and um you know finding finding out what you love and just doing that like making every decision that you make based on what you actually want rather than on what you don't want you know just just trust the universe trust trust that everything is going to be okay and 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 make decisions based on what you want so if you're in that relationship and the relationship's not going the way you want it to like if it's not easy that means it's not meant to be 
Like life is easy. Life is meant to be easy. Life is meant to be happy. You're not meant to struggle. If it's a struggle, stop doing that. People say, yeah, if it's hard, keep pushing, try harder. That is not true. Every great thing that's ever happened to me has been only when I've allowed it. Think about it. If there's a girl that you want and you're running after her, she's not going to become yours. She's going to run in the opposite direction. But if you, if you get your energy right and you just allow it, the chances are much greater that she's going to come back to you. Guys, got to end off here because the vlog is going to become too long. So, you know, as always, smile at strangers, compliment everyone, be a champion, be different, be phenomenal. If you haven't subscribed, dominate that subscribe button. See you guys tomorrow. Have the happiest day. Bye-bye.